to Chris Sale sitting down and joining us. Uh, we're talking a little baseball with him. Take your time. Let's just get the whole. You feeling good? You see, you hear him, everything? I'm good. All right, I'm gonna scoop that up. Hi, Chris. Old school. No, yeah, yeah, it is. It's old school. We had, you missed it, we had Willie Harris uh, laying down a rap earlier, and then Carl Everett was his hype man. Yeah, yeah, thing. I don't think you're going to get that out of me. Um, no, you can if you want. I mean, you're, you're totally, it's completely up to you. Wouldn't be nearly as entertaining, I bet. Welcome back to White Sox, uh, Sox Fest 2016, man. Hey. How are you feeling? I feel good. Feel do, good. Do me a favor, hold it a little bit closer for me. Yeah, like, just like, yeah, like old school. Yeah, sometimes I don't know what to do. With my hands? With I don't know where my hands the are. The mic, you know. How are you feeling? I'm good. Good, doing good. It's always fun to get up here. Um, you know, gets uh, get energized for the season. You know, all the fans here. It's you know, this is a blast. We have fun with this uh, just as much as you guys do. So, uh, we appreciate you guys coming out and uh, you know, getting us fueled for the season. Uh, Rick mentioned uh, in his conference with a couple media this afternoon that when you and he had your sit down at the end of the year, you told him you were, felt strong enough to go another six, seven starts. I mean, is that? Have you felt that way before at the end of a season? Is that new to you, or is that something they just kind of found? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, we, there's a lot of work that goes into that. Um, you know, I'm leaning on those guys in the, in the training room and in the weight room. So, um, but yeah, I mean, at the end of this year, I felt really good. You know, and that, that, that's the goal. I mean, um, you know, w once you get to October 1, it's a new ball game. You know, you get into the playoffs, and, and, and you're going to have to have some, some yeah. extra oomph. So, um, you know, it was nice to know that I had a little bit left in the tank when the season was over, and you know, hopefully, uh, you know, the same thing happens this year, and we can uh, we can use it. So Chris Sale here on White Sox Weekly on WLS AM 890. Uh, there's been a lot of talk, and I think the, the the conversation has been the same for a lot of people, whether it's uh, Robin all the way down to the, the 25th guy on the roster. You know, defense is is a focus coming up this season. You've added a couple of guys who pick it up and throw it over pretty darn well. Um, your thoughts on, on having a couple of new guys behind you when you uh, when you throw ground balls? It's nice. I mean, it's, it's reju rejuvenating. You know, I mean, it's it's always exciting, you know, especially when you get top-tier guys like we've gotten. Um, you know, it does nothing but catapult us into a position to win, A, and it gives us the confidence knowing that, you know, we're, we're backed by the guys up, you know, up top. So, um, you know, they're doing everything they can to put a, 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 you know, a team on the field to win. So, you know, it's about us going out there and performing and doing it. I remember when you when you started coming up, and I think it was your first full season of starting. Uh, the, the, you kind of talked a little bit about some of the mentors that you had on that White Sox staff and what you learned, what what was taught to you. And now you've got you know a couple of kids yourself. I mean, you're, it's like you you know you've got this pitching staff full of you know I don't know if you want to call them proteges or whatever, but kids that you want to bring along for the betterment of the team. What's it you know been like for you to transfer from? You know, kid learning the ropes and figuring out what to do with your own stuff to, you know, having a couple of guys behind you, guys like Carlos and guys like Jose to a different degree. Um, and maybe a guy, because I know, you know, you know Carson from, uh, from the hometown and you yeah. met with him a little bit. What's that process been like for you? It's been cool, actually. I, I, uh, my wife and I were out with Carson and his fiance last night. Sure. And it was weird because, you know, we're, we're sitting there with them and they're, you know, they're asking us questions and, you know, what, what's it like? You know, what, what's this? What's that? And it, it was funny. My wife and I, we just kind of caught ourselves, and it's like, but we were in that position the not but thing. a few years ago. So um, it's cool. And you know, I was fortunate, very fortunate for myself to have very reliable people when I, when I was here. I mean, you know, with JJ Putsy and um, you know Thornton out there in the bullpen. You know, my first few years, and you know, kind of getting me through and, and kind of showing me the ropes and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's fun to kind of pass that information along. You know, to kind of through the through the ropes too. Well, because because learning about living a major league lifestyle, and I'm not talking about you know the the fun stuff, because the fun stuff happens. But you know, talk learning to deal with the ups and downs of a season, learning to deal with the, the grind that is 162. Yeah. You got to have you got to friends on a ball club to get you through, whether you're you know struggling or you know check your head a little bit if you're striking out 19 every other night. Yeah, it's it's definitely a, a whirlwind. I mean, this this is this is a very kind of busy lifestyle. I mean, you're you're here for three days, and then you know living out of a suitcase, you're away from your family. I mean, I have a five-year-old son who, you know, it's 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 fun to hang out with him. But, you right. know, you're gone for 10 days at a time, and um, you know, it gets tough, but you know, it, it's all worth it. I mean, this is this is what I've dreamed about my whole life doing, no doubt, and, and I love doing it. But um, you definitely want to be as prepared as you can for this because I mean, it, you're you're you know, you're traveling through time zones. I mean, sometimes it's five o'clock where you're at, sometimes it's nine o'clock where you're at. You know, and it, you, you, it, the more prepared you are for this, I think, the better off you are because um, 
you know, you just the more comfortable you can get with kind of a crazy lifestyle, the better off you are. So you set a White Sox record with 274 strikeouts last year. You did it in 200 and some change innings. The last guy took 400 innings to get there. <laughs> yeah. I said, yeah, no, give the man some applause. You set a White Sox record. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what is, you know, if you, if you could look back at that kid that came up and threw 70-some innings out of the bullpen when he hit the major leagues, what's one thing that you'd tell that kid that he learned over the last five, six years? Uh, whether it's about yourself playing baseball or what it took to get to the mark you were at this last season. Work. Really? Work. I mean, it, you, it's... It's hard to kind of put into words, but I mean, it, there's a lot of work that goes into this, not only for ourselves, but other people. I mean, there, there are a lot of people that work really hard to help me do what I do. And, um, you know, not a lot of times they get the credit they deserve. And, but, I mean, it, 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 it is a lot of work to, to be prepared every single day, and even more so for a position player. I mean, those guys, they're out there every single day. I mean, you, you have guys going out there playing 150, 155 plus games. That takes a toll on you, and it, and it takes a lot of work. I mean, shoot, I mean, you, you can walk up a flight of stairs and, you know, your knee starts hurting a little bit, right. and you got to play tomorrow. And, and that, you know, that it just, you know, there's a lot of things that go into it, and, um, you know, it, it, it's just a lot of work. And I, I think that's what I've learned is just to work and, and get through it and, um, you know, stay aggressive. Do you, think, do you think pitchers get a short end on that reputation-wise? I mean, because you got guys like... I mean, you run foul poles. You've been there. You know the whole thing. Like Eddie Guardado goes out there though, and he doesn't. You know, he doesn't look like you. And Ray King goes out there, and he doesn't, he doesn't look like you. I mean, but but pitchers are athletes too. That's pretty aggressive. Um, too much. <laughs> no, I mean, th there's no doubt that I. I there's not a doubt in my mind. Being a position player is, is tougher than being being a pitcher. There's no. I mean, I I play. 33 times a year at most, right. you know, uh, you know, and there's a certain level of, of you know, work and, and, and hard work and stuff and dedication that goes into that. But playing every day, there's, there's got to be nothing like playing every day. I mean, even being in the bullpen, I mean, the, the difference between being in the bullpen and being a starter is, is even huge. I mean, even nights that you're not pitching in the bullpen, you know, your mind is still going because yeah. you never know. You could pitch four days in a row. You could not pitch for seven days. You can go on, off, on, off. So you're always prepared to go in. And those guys down there kind of know where they're at. So it's like, you know, the seventh inning rolls around. Well, you know, Nate Jones, he's getting prepared to pitch, sure. you know. And even if he doesn't go in, his wheels are still turning. So, it's, I mean, sometimes, even when I was in the bullpen, you get home and, you know, your wheels are still turning. I mean, you, you get into the game and you get – so, you know, it just takes a toll on guys that play every day. Uh, quickly here before we leave, I, I got to ask you, you feel good about where this team is and what the 25 that looks like that, you know, that could break camp with you? I mean, you feel good about uh, the moves that have been made? Absolutely. I mean, we, we have just as good a chance as anybody, and uh, I really think this division's up for grabs. Congratulations on, uh, on the accomplishments last season. Looking forward to more from you this year. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. And you mentioned it, 33 starts. I'm going to write a pencil you in for that whole thing, I think. <laughs> Make sure it's a pencil. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Chris Sale, everybody, your White Sox ace.